guys, this is Michelle Kane with Michelle Kane Photography and Actions. On this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about textures and how to add them to your photographs to add dimension, drama, and obviously texture to your photographs um, to, to play them up just a little bit. And what we're looking at here on the screen is a fully edited color photo. I suggest that you edit your picture out. Um, how you'd want it to be for just a plain colored photo and I've accomplished that here by using my Hardy Photoshop actions going from straight out of camera to a nice color edit. Now we're going to add the texture right on top of this and I've got two textures open right now one called Hester and one called Mercy both from my um, epic texture sampler pack that's available for download uh, to my Facebook fans and what we're going to talk about first are the colored textures. Now colored textures are a little bit more involved in how you integrate them into your picture than would be a black and white texture. So I've got both of these textures opened up as just regular JPEG files inside of Photoshop and we're going to place these on top of the uh, photograph. So having the move tool selected I'm going to hold down the shift key on this Mercy texture and I'm going to drag it right on top of my photograph. Holding down the shift key will make sure that when it's dragged in it comes in centered. If you put in this texture and say it's too small or too big, say it comes in and it's this side, this size, you can just hit command or control T to transform and I'll give these little transform handles here. I like to hold down the shift and option or on a PC shift and alt keys and I drag from the corners and because I centered it by holding the shift key when I brought it in I can just drag it in and out evenly. We want it to cover the entire photograph. Hit enter to select that. Now what we're seeing is this texture file completely covering up the photograph and texture files work in conjunction with photographs when you use blending modes. Now your layer blending modes are in your layers palette and this one is set to normal. Normal blending mode is 100% opaque. You can't see through it to the um, to the photograph below. The blending modes that you're probably going to work with the most often when you're talking about textures are going to be multiply which will darken, screen which will brighten, and then in the contrast uh, section here overlay soft light and hard light so let's look at overlay let's look at soft light pretty nice soft lights probably the one that I use most often and hard light pretty dramatic now just depending on the picture that you're working with and the texture you're working with different blending modes will work for different kinds of pictures. On this particular one, I think soft light works about the best. We've got nice texture, the color is definitely um, warmer, more rich, but what we have the problem with now is her skin. So uh, we need to basically remove this texture, and it's a little bit hard to see on this particular picture, um, the, the texture here that it's placed on her skin but it's there and we do need to remove that so that we just get the tones of the texture file and not the actual texture. Now the tones, they're pretty rich in and of themselves and we'll probably want to tone that down and we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second. But um, we, for now we just need to get rid of the texture that's on her. So the way we're going to do it is I usually sample before I even send um, this picture to a different blending mode. When it comes in and it's set to normal blending mode like this, I go in and I grab my eyedropper tool and I pick a mid-tone. Not the brightest and not the darkest spot in the picture, just a mid-tone that's in this texture file. So when I click with my eyedropper, it samples this nice warm uh, brown color and that is set to my foreground color in my swatches now. So I can switch my blending mode now of this texture layer back to soft light and what we're going to do to remove that texture off of her skin is to grab a brush, just a regular brush. I like a nice soft brush with no hardness and um, I'm going to take the size down a little bit and you got to be careful when you're brushing with this color 
um, you're removing the texture so you don't want to go like clear out of the lines and come over here where there's so much texture removed off of um, around her you really just want to remove the texture off of her so I come in with a small brush and I start to build up these brush strokes with like 30 40 50 percent opacity brushes this way what we're doing is we're still keeping the tones but because this blending mode on this layer that we're painting on is set to soft light it um, keeps the tones but it smooths out the texture so when it's all said and done we have a texture that just looking at the texture layer here it's just all been smoothed out and you don't see the texture in there coming across her skin the color is there but the texture is not so once that's accomplished um, it may be perfect. That may be all you need to do. You've got the texture around her. You've got the nice warm tones going on. But if the tones feel a little too intense for the picture, which they do in her hair and in her skin, we've got some orange going on. We need her warm, but not this warm. We need to add a layer mask to remove that. So the first step was to blend the color in, to blend the texture away from her skin. Now we need to take that texture kind of off it all together. So what we're going to do is make sure that that layer is selected in the layers palette and come down here and pick add layer mask and it's going to place a white layer mask um, hooked on to your texture file. And I need to make sure my brush is selected, B for brush. I have a white layer mask so I need a black colored brush. And we're going to start to remove actually the entire texture from her. And this is just done with slow methodical little steps here going over the parts of her skin that are just a little too intense so this is going to remove not only that tone but the actual texture and so I'm coming into some of these places over here if I start to really remove it you know really get it gone you know I can always come back with a layer mask and a white brush and bring it right back in that's the beauty of a layer mask so just brought that back in. Um, again, we'll just continue to take a little bit more of this tone maybe off of her hair. And if I go too far and I want to add it back in, again, a white brush will add it right back in. So now let's look at without this um, layer mask. I've just disabled the layer mask. And that's how much color tone was on her skin. Her hair was too orange, too red. With masking it out, she's still quite warm and she matches the color of the um, the texture that we had in, put in there but it's not so intense that she's overly dark and overly red so that's how you work with a colored texture let's turn the eyeball off of this actually one more thing I want to say about this is say you have your texture um, but you just want to um, dull it a little bit. Don't forget that you can come in here and grab your opacity slider and just slide it down. Slide it back up to 100% or maybe you like it somewhere around 74. If you want it even more intense, you can also duplicate the layer or again come in here and switch a blending mode. Maybe you do want it a little bit more intense like this. It happens to look horrible on this picture overlay, so I think we're doing the right thing with soft light. We're going to talk about a black and white one now. Let's just turn the eyeball of this layer off. We're back to our original color edit. Black and white textures are so much easier to work with. Um, black and white textures are strictly there to give you just the texture and not change the color tones of your picture. So I've got this Hester black and white selected. I'm going to grab my move tool, which is the V key on the keyboard, and holding down the shift key once again, drag it right on top of my picture, my photograph. Again, this blending mode is set to normal. We don't need to be worrying about um, blending in any kind of color, so I don't have to come in here like a color texture and sample for the color. Um, we're just going to be working with a layer mask. So this blending mode, let's see what multiply will do. Definitely lots of dark texture. Screen, all of the dark parts become very, very white. Overlay, pretty intense, soft light. I think I like that one again for this one. So we're going to go with soft light, but you can see the texture big time in her skin here. So same 
sort of scenario as before. We're going to go in and add a layer mask. So come down to the bottom here to this add layer mask icon. We've got a white layer mask which is showing all of the texture still. We need to cover it up with a black brush. So I'm going to grab a nice little um, probably 40% opacity brush and start to remove this off. Again we've got the layer mask working for us so this is just covering up the texture if I go too far in one direction I can easily just get a white brush and bring that texture back in. Now if I want to smooth it maybe kind of around her so that this texture doesn't butt right up against her it's a little bit more blended I can grab a very soft brush Oops, switched my blending or switched my opacity of my layer there. I can grab B for brush again, real low opacity like 20%, make it nice and big, again that soft brush, and just let the overspray of the brush kind of do the work of just blending this texture around her so it's not so intense right up against her. Now say this texture was really way too um, texturized. Say we had it something like hard light and had tons and tons of texture there. Another thing that you can do is make sure you have your texture layer selected, not your layer mask, and then go up to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And on this particular one we're going to start down at nothing and we can start to blur it out. So say you had something along those lines that you liked. Um, the texture is definitely softer, it's not as intense, um, just blurring down the sharpness of the texture itself. I'm going to hit cancel here because I, I really don't want that. I just wanted to show you that that's an option that you have to kind of make texture a little bit softer. We're going to go back, uh, set this to soft light, and we can even add it in conjunction with this uh, color texture that we had originally. Now here's two textures together. So when you're working with color textures you have to blend the texture away with the color tones that are in the texture by painting with a brush. When you're working with a black and white texture you simply need to remove texture using a layer mask. Don't forget to experiment with your blending modes. Experiment with maybe even other blending modes that I didn't mention here today. Uh, see if you like the effect that it creates and um, combine textures. Have fun with it. Add all the drama your little heart can desire for your pictures. If you have any questions about this, uh, please leave me a comment down below the video and I'll try to respond to it. Um, otherwise, don't forget you can download these 10 free textures, these epic texture sampler pack from my Facebook page. And again, once it's retired from the Facebook page, you can find it on my website, michellecanephotography.com, under the freebies tab. You can learn more about my Photoshop actions there, and leave me a comment letting me know um, if you need additional help, or if you have different ideas for video tutorials you'd like to see in the future. I love to hear from you, and I want to present um, helpful tutorials that are meaningful to you. So, don't be afraid to leave a comment. Thanks so, so much for watching and have a good day guys.